listing seven continues by calling two setter methods on the turtle object, one named set body, set body color, and the other one named set shell color, to set the body color and the shell color for the turtle referred to by the variable named Joe. The body color consists of the head and the feet and you can see the result of calling these two methods by observing the turtle that I am pointing to now on the bottom right of your screen which shows a turtle with a red head and four red feet and a blue shell. Then the code in listing 7 continues by calling two setter methods that set the turtle's pin color and the turtle's pin width to a color of yellow and a width of three pixels. You can see the result of this by observing the somewhat broad yellow line that I'm pointing to in the bottom right of your screen. This line was drawn as the turtle moved from its default initial position at the center of the world to a position further north in the world. So let's recap what we have at this point. We have a turtle object referred to by a reference variable named Joe, which by default appear, appears initially in the center of the world facing towards the north. We have called methods on that turtle object to cause its name to be changed from null to the string value Joe. We've called a method named set body color to cause the head and all four feet to be colored red. And we've called a method named set shell color to cause the color of the shell to be blue. In addition, we called a method named set pin color to change the color of the pin from its default color to the color yellow. And we called a method named set pin width to change the width of the pin from its default value of 1 to a new value of 3. Now when the turtle moves it will draw a line which is it will draw a yellow line which is 3 pixels wide and we're getting ready to make it move at this point. The next thing that we will do is call a method name forward on the turtle passing no parameters. This method will cause the turtle to move in a forward direction by a distance of 100 pixels. You can see the result of this movement by observing the yellow line that I am pointing to now uh, that move that is 100 pixels long from the center of the world to a position 100 pixels north of the center of the world. So to recap, recall that the turtle initially faces north. The call to the forward method with no parameters causes the turtle to move from its initial position at the center of the world to a location that is 100 pixels due north of the center of the world and it draws a somewhat wide yellow line along the way. I have now scrolled the source code text in the upper right of your screen so that you can see the final three statements in the listing known as listing seven. The next thing that we're going to do is to call 
the turn method on the turtle referred to by Joe, passing a parameter of minus 135. This causes the turtle to rotate its body by 135 degrees counterclockwise. Having done this, the turtle will now be facing along the direction shown by the blue line near on the bottom right of your screen. A positive parameter causes a clockwise rotation and a negative parameter causes a counterclockwise rotation. Once the statement that is highlighted in the upper right of your screen has been executed, the turtle is positioned at the top of the yellow line but has rotated its body counterclockwise by 135 degrees so as to be facing along the blue line. At this point, we're going to call the method named set pin color, passing a color value of blue to the method to cause the color of the pin belonging to that particular turtle to change from yellow to blue. The turtle class has more than one overloaded method named forward. The forward method that we called earlier takes no parameters and by default causes the turtle to move by 100 pixels in the forward direction. A second overloaded version of the forward method takes an integer parameter. In this case, I passed 150. And that method will cause the turtle to move 150 pixels in the forward direction. After asking Joe the turtle to change the color of its pen from yellow to blue, I asked Joe the turtle to move forward by 150 pixels, which it did. This results in the turtle being in the position that I am pointing to now, having left a blue line along the way from the top of the yellow line to the current position. So after making the turn, the turtle is facing southwest. The forward movement causes a diagonal blue line to be drawn from the position at the top of the yellow line down towards the southwest, causing the turtle to, to come to rest at the end of the blue line that I am pointing to here. We will allow Joe the turtle to come to rest at that location and not ask it to do anything else. In order to write the application programs for this course, you need to understand how to program with color. I have published extensively on the concept of color programming in Java on my website at www.dickbaldwin.com Probably the best way to find that information is to go to Google and search for the keywords Baldwin Java Color. Because I have published so many tutorials on my website, it is somewhat sometimes difficult to find the correct tutorial to contain the material, material that you want. Uh, as a result, Google and possibly Bing is also probably your best bet for finding information on other topics that I have, that I have published on my website. Now let's turn our attention to manipulating the turtle object referred to by the variable named Sue. 
this is the blue green or cyan colored turtle that I'm now pointing to in the bottom right area of your screen. Listing 8 which is partially shown in the upper right portion of your screen calls several methods on the object whose reference is stored in the variable name Sue to cause it to perform different actions. These method calls result in the turtle facing north in the lower right corner of the image on the bottom right of your screen. Along the way the turtle used its pen to draw the broken red line that you see between the center of the world and the final resting position for the turtle.